We kind of wanted to take a quick boo at the differences between Windows Update, uh, which you're familiar with if you're on uh, Windows XP, for example, uh, versus uh, Linux, Ubuntu's uh, automatic update features, the application I'll just bring up right here. I've mentioned this on a, on a previous episode where I mentioned that in your, uh, in your panel, you're going to see a little notification when software pops up. So that's what this little arrow with the red, ex or the red, ex uh, bleh, pardon me, the red arrow with the white exclamation mark, mm -hmm. that's what that is. So I single click on that, and that brings up a window with my current available updates. So back at Windows XP, we're getting the same thing where Windows Update tells us that we're getting some updates here and things are in need of updating. And you can see we've got security update, security update, Windows malicious software, Windows Internet Explorer 7. So all that we're seeing there is basically the core uh, windows is being updated. So they found some security exploits, they're fixing them, and they're distributing them to the operating system to kind of you know, band-aid it and patch up uh, problems with the operating system. So does Ubuntu's uh, update manager do the same thing? Yes, absolutely. But where things are a lot different is, let's say, for example, you go into the, to the local store and you buy a copy of your Microsoft Word application. You install that into your Windows XP system, and then you get your updates, and you get your updates, and you get your updates, but you're still running that same version of that system. So what happens is, is that if um, they release a new version of that uh, software, you're going to end up having to go back out and buy a new version of the software unless they've released a patch. Uh, but you've seen it happen where you buy a version of software for Microsoft Windows and you don't get updates for it. You actually have to buy the new version. In the case of Linux, what's a lot different here is that when I bring up my update manager, you're going to see here that not only have we got kind of core components like the Linux headers, Linux generic kernel, right? These are like the, the system stuff. But then on top of that, I've got OpenOffice installed and it's found that there's some updates for OpenOffice. If they bring out a brand new version of OpenOffice, we're actually going to get the brand new version onto our Ubuntu Linux uh, system. So whatever program you have installed, if you've installed it through apt or synaptic package manager or add remove, if you've done that, you're going to actually see those things pop up in this list every time they bring out an update. And when I mentioned it last week, I kind of got the, the feeling that I, I made it sound like you're going to get a pop up every time that there's uh, an update for any application. But as you can see, what I meant is you actually get a list of all the currently available uh, updates for your system which is really, really clean, really, really simple, and you're always uh, going to be running the latest version of not only your operating system components, but also um, the latest version of all the applications that are currently installed in your system.